Hello everyone, we will learn about filter operator in ABAP. In this video, we will learn about filter operator without filter table. In my next video, we will see filter operator with filter table. Let's get started. So, I have created report program as usual we do. Inside this report program, we have a static man method. This is static man method we are calling in the start of selection event. This is the local class we are having. So inside the man method, I, I already written one select statement to get some data from the VBAK table. So what I am doing over here, you can see is I'm getting the data from VBAK sales order table. There is the sales order number, sales org and net price I'm getting. So sometimes the requirement like comes like this. So as of now, you can see I'm getting the only for the sales org NE01, S100 and VVSO. But sometime requirement comes like this. I want to process the data for the NA01 separately and for other sales org separately. So I can't hit the database table two times. I can't get separately one internal table uh, where the VKOR is in NA01 and I should not do this like, like this. And separately i can hit separately vbak table for the s100 and vbso cells home and i create two internal table and process separately because we always have to make sure we have to write one select statement on one internal one database table in our program once only we whatever the needed data we have to get together then we have to process the, that data separately so i have this internal table it vbak so I want to extract only some of the data out of this table. Means I, I want to extract the data where the sales org is the NA01 and I want to create another table. It's, it's something like that. We have to write a select statement on an internal table. I have one internal table, ITVBAK. On, in this table, I have data. I have to write select statement where VKOR is equal to NA01 and I have to get some data. One another way we can loop through this table and we put loop where condition or we can use for loop as well. But we have one more efficient way to do this. One more performant where the performance will be good. So how we can do? We can apply the filter. So for that I need obviously one table to get the filtered data. So let me create one table data it lt underscore vbak i want na01 na01 inside this table i want the data only for the sales of na01 so let me apply the filter over here so i have to use filter operator and this is also one of the constructor operator so it will construct some value and the since i am using over here has so type of uh, VBA KNA0 will be constructed from here but I can't use if I, I am declaring the inline declaration so I have to uh, declare this table separately let me declare, declare this table separately if I want to construct either I have to declare the type or I or I have to declare the this, uh, this table itself so let me declare the table type instead of doing this one uh, so TT underscore VBA K type table of ty underscore vbak so i have declared this table so i can use i can't use has because i i did the inline declaration i have to give some data type what type of data you want to construct either it should be inline declaration or it should be has both we can't do, do can't do together so I, this data should be type of this one how I have to construct, construct this data, uh, on which table I want to get the data. So I have already data from ITVBAK where VKORZ equal to NA01. This is the simplest form of the filter. What it is error I'm getting 
a value of generic type cannot be constructed okay we have to give uh, whenever you are with default key or some key we have to give with default key i can see oh. okay one more important thing over here so whenever we are using the it underscore vba key table so we have to give some key field so either th there is very important whenever we are using the filter either the this internal table should be sorted or has table or we are we have to use some secondary key you as you can see i already declare one secondary key with non-unique sorted key o and component is vkorg so i have to define one key over here using key i have to use using key org control c control v so all errors are gone except f1 so like that we filter out from the it underscore vbak all the entries of the na01 so one more thing i just want to show not only the using key if the, we already have the sorted table that only we can do control alt arrow down the button if suppose i have already sorted table mm, sort in that case this should be sorted table Sort a table of TY underscore VBAK with this will be non unique key, non unique key VKYC. Let me do this also control alt arrow down button, and this time I will use sort and let me show you both things separate separately first i will display the result of entire table let me do that thing we will use cl underscore demo output class output display i have to pass it underscore vbak control c control v so after this, I have to write down first. I don't want to display as of now, but after doing this thing in next section, I want to display this one. Control C, Control V, and this will be display. Shift F1, Control F3. So as you can see, I have filtered out this table and I'm first I'm dis displaying entire data then I'm di displaying the filtered data let me do f9 okay let me open this console parallelly so you can see oh, clear out and do f9 again In the first iteration, uh, first VKORG, we are having all the data. Hundred line only. I have selected. I I want to see in the console. That is the reason. I have not only the NA01. I have S1, S100 as well. NA01 and S100. And then I in the second time when we are displaying this internal table, where we are only having the NA01 cells. So we filtered out the data and we displayed like this. So as I told you before going further i want to explain some of the important point so let me take out my theory part control space oh theory filter okay so you can see there are there are some most important thing first the internal table let me close out this console so we can see entire thing the internal table on which we are filter operator is used must be have at least one sorted key or one has key to use the access so as i told you so on this in this on this table we are applying the filter so this table either it's it should be sorted table or has key table or or we have at least if it is a standard table so we, at least we have one key so i have declared what we know with the known unique sorted key o i have declared so this is the very important thing whenever we are using the filter 
the first point done second point the row type of main internal table and result internal table do not need to be identical so as you know uh, as of now we use the directly where now in my next video i will show you the how to use filter with the another internal table that time that point will be valid the boolean operator can't be used here we can't use like this not or or some some other conditions we want to use and or not or or condition like this in this where condition we can't use the boolean operator in the where conditions so table filtering can also be performed using the table compression we can do the same thing as i told you we can do the same thing using the for loop or using the reduction operator or table iteration they but this this will be faster and this is the shortest syntax and faster as well and last thing i want to tell a table filter construct result by row by row so this also will be the result also will be constructed row, row by row each row will be seen and na01 filtered out but the thing is there if there are two things i can do the same thing like this i can create one another internal table itvb ak na01 i can take out entire data and delete i can sort it that table and delete where the na uh, where where vqa or not equal to na01 so we have to choose we have to use delete address uh, delete delete with where condition or we have to use filter so how you can decide first you have to think how many entries can be there with na01 if lesser number of entries is there with na01 then use filter if most of the entries in the internal itvbak is having having the na01 very few entries with the other cells of then use the delete address and duplicate that will be efficient because most of the entries we are, we are having then the delete is efficient there so we have to see we have to choose between we have to use the delete with where condition or we have to use filter operator so both both are the doing the same thing but if most of the uh, table entries having this condition whatever we are putting the uh, vkrc is na0 and most of the entries are with the vkrc equal to na01 then we should not use the filter we should go with the delete with where condition if only few entries are there only five six entries then we have to go for this this is the same statement written here this i i copied from the standard uh, documentation of rsap a filter table construct the result row by row so if the result contained almost all rows in the source table this method can be slower than copying the source table and deleting the surplus rows from the target table so copy the table and delete with where condition that that method will be efficient if we have most of the entries this is very important point when we are using so we we saw the data i have shown you with vbak let me show you the same thing with it vbak sort so in the state of control we when when we are using sorted table that time we no need, need to give this using key org since he, it's the ta sorted table with vkrg then this statement also same because we already have sorted table with vkrg we and we are not using the standard table if we are using the standard table we have to give the explicitly key because we have given here key name what is the key name sorted key key name is org and what all are the component component for that key we have given here so in this case uh, since we have sorted table with already key so that is the reason no need to give additionally using key syntax let me do control f3 do f9 the same result we will get let me clear out the console let me do f9 once again so you can see na01 entries are there okay let me control c i have to display first this one control v set f1 control f3 clear out the console and do f9 so in this case the delete with where will be efficient but just to show case i have i showed you how the filter we can use because most of the entries with na01 so in this case we have to use uh, we have to copy that internal table and delete where and and not equal to vkrg not equal to na01 so that will be efficient if the na01 entries if i am instead of uh, getting the data for s1 s100 then this efficient is uh, this method is efficient 
like this if i am getting let me do control f3 let me clear out the console in f9 so th uh, in this case this uh, this method is e efficient you can see we have the least number of entries is ascended out of this table <laughs> there is one another variant of the this one so i created one table with the uh, s100 uh, let me rename this one control 1 s100 shift f1 control f3 I, I now I want I now I want other data as well. So I I created one table with the uh, S hundred and I want to create another table. Control Alt arrow down button. But this time I don't want S hundred data. I want other data. But this other data. So I have to use one simple word. Accept. Yeah, accept. So we have to use accept where V Q R is equal to. 100 so so this time we will get the entries let me do control shift less than and let me display the other table control c control v shift f1 control f3 let me clear out the console let me do f9 so this time we got the other entries uh, in the in where the S100 is not there. We have the less. Uh, you can see only the NA01 we got. We don't. We didn't get the S100 for the for the result. In my this video, I have showed you only the simple filter where we can use directly filter on one internal table using the where condition. But sometimes we have what we have to do. We have some another internal table. We have some entries over there. Using those entries, we have to filter this table. How we can do? It's something like we are using select statement with the for all entries. We are getting the data from database. We have some another internal table. We are using the for all entries on that table and using the where condition. So same thing how we can do with the internal table that I will show you in my next video. Before going to next video, please like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you and happy learning.